Hey everyone, welcome to Motor Psychology. My name is Jonathan. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back and thanks so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. So in today's video, it's going to be the removal of a water pump from a 350 cubic inch Chevy block engine. This is from my C3 Corvette. And I'm going to show the removal process and some of the things that you have to look out for as you do it. And I'm going to be replacing it with a brand new water pump. And I'm not too sure if it's going to be in part one of this video or in part two. So stick around and look out for that one. So let's get into this video and see how it goes. Okay, here we are looking at the water pump. Finally getting around to this. So the water pump is right here. This pulley is going to come off. This bolt attachment is going to come off. That's going to come off. The lower rad hose is going to come off, as is the heater hose as well. And then on the other side, you've got a couple attachment bolts there. That's also connected to the alternator uh, support. And there's also another bolt down there as well. So this is going to come off hopefully fairly easily. And then I'm going to replace this water pump with another one. This water pump itself is working fine, but it's old. So since I've got everything else out of the way here, I'm gonna remove the water pump. Might as well. And after that, I'll be removing the power steering pump as well, which is this guy down here. So first of all, we're gonna take this water pump off and I'm going to remove this belt. I'm either gonna cut it because I'm not going to use it again. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to take this water pump off as well. So let's do that. Okay, time to cut this off. And hopefully this will work. I want to point out here that normally if this belt was a good belt, I wouldn't be cutting it off. But this is an old belt. It's going to be replaced anyway. So it's going in the garbage. So I might as well cut it off to make this job a little bit easier. So that's what I decided to do. I've already got the replacement belt. So this one's coming off. All right. That is cut. Take this off. I'm going to save this belt here just to double check the length of the new belt that I have when it comes to putting that on. So looking at this again you can see there's the lower clamp that's going to take this rad hose off. You've got the heater hose here that's going to come off. I've also got a new heater hose extension that I'm going to put on the new water pump as well and there's one attachment for it. There's the other attachment. And then on the other side here, let's just get around to that. The other attachments for the water pump are here and here. So we'll take that off and hopefully all will go well. I'll get some of these things too. I really didn't have to remove these hose clamps since, well, you'll see why I didn't have to remove them at this particular point, but I still did. Now the trick is, will these come loose? Number one. 
Now when you take these out, according to the manual, you want to make sure you keep a record of the length of each bolt when it comes out of each hole. So this one is, let's say for me, I'm going to classify that as the top right. So I'm going to put that somewhere where it's going to be identified as top right. So my methodology here is I'm just going to take some painter's tape and stick it on the bolt like so. And then identify the top right. Now that's identified as top right, I will put that aside and start moving on the other bolts. Will we be so lucky with this one here? Let's hope so. That one came out nice and easy as well. So. So, bottom right, that looks awesome. Bottom right, different size than the other one. Let's label that. Alright, so I've got this, I'm going to label it right bottom, and then put that with the other one. Alright, you can see the other two bolts that I have to take out, and I'm going to get into that right now. So I'm going to take this off, and it's not really attached to anything, it just has the fan clutch studs on it so this isn't really attached to anything it should just come off this way there it is and here's the tiny little water pump in there this I'm going to refresh repaint it before I put it back on the new water pump so you got to take this pulley off it's in good shape other than needing to be painted. Gives me a little bit more room here and here to get those off, which I'm going to do. Okay, moving over to these guys here. Open that this one will come out as easy as the other ones did. Oh yeah, no problem. That's so nice. I'm keeping a note, for some reason this bolt here has a lock washer and a regular washer as well. So that is going to be the top left bolt and I'll label that and put that away. Yeah, you can see that one's definitely shorter than most. So labeling that top left. And putting that with the rest. So get that out of the way. Last one is this little guy down here. 
I'm thinking it's going to come along. All oh, right. Oh yeah, no problem. It's so nice. And this is the bottom left, a little bit of fluid coming out. Stop that for now. A little bit of fluid coming out. I'm going to let that come out, but I'm just going to put something absorbent underneath. And then we'll continue. You can already see that that's loose. Alright, let's cut these. So here's the old water pump. It's out and ready for scrap metal. So looking here at the water pump, the only places where the water pump actually hits the engine block is on this side and on that side. The rest is done in the pump and with the hoses from the radiator as well. So next job will be to clean these contact surfaces right here. Looks like the gasket's still on there. And then get it ready to put on the new water pump. So there's one side and the other side as well. And that's it. And a couple places that bolted on, but pretty decent. So what you do next is Use a razor blade to scrape that off and use a razor blade to scrape that off and make it smooth as well. So that's the next step. So working with this, I'll just scrape it off. There's one of the gaskets. It doesn't even look like there was any gasket sealant on there, so I may not need any. When it comes to putting the new one back in. There's my bolts for the water pump. They're all labeled. I'm gonna put them in a baggie until I need them next because I'm gonna repurpose these. I'm also gonna put in some shop towels in each one of these holes until I'm ready to put in the new water pump. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna put those in a baggie. Just gonna stick the shop towels in here to prevent stuff from going in those holes.
Perfect. And that is the basic removal portion of the water pump. This may be an opportunity to clean up some other things. Well, here we are with the old water pump. It's out. Just want to check it out and compare it with the new one and make sure that I get these water pump fan clutch studs put in the new one the right way. I'm just going to take off the remaining part of the hose here. There we go. Two super old throwaway pieces of hose here. And the water pump. So let's pull out the new one and see if they are the same. All right, let's pull this one out. Okay, let's compare the two, see if there's any difference. Let me just get rid of this stuff here. Okay, they basically look identical. This one definitely feels better. This one, you can probably hear it, listen. And then the new one is a little bit more firm and there's a little bit of resistance on there too, which is pretty good. Those look great as well. So I wanted to keep this one out because I need to measure what the height is from the bottom of that stud to the top so that when I put the new ones in here, I have the studs at the same height. So that's what I'm going to measure right now. Get a measurement on this. So there we go. It's 7 eighths of an inch. That's what I want to put them all at. And it's important to know that when I move over to this guy, the new studs, I want to have up 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to do that now. So I can get rid of this now. I don't need it on the workbench here and I'm gonna concentrate on this guy here. Move this up to the top. There we go. And what I have here is a pump stud set. That's what they call it. And it's a fan clutch to water pump stud sets for 1969 to 1981. So let's open that up and see what we have. It's always nice to have some new parts too. Oh goodness, here we go. So the good thing is we've got some excellent studs. They look exactly like the originals right here. And these are the nuts and the lock washers to put the fan on the water pump. So I'm going to put these away back in the packaging for when it comes time to put the fan clutch back on. So let's put those away and I'm going to store those in my parts container. With each one of these studs, they have different threads on either side. So the part with the thin thread on it goes into the water pump and that is going to be on the outside and that's what the fan clutch is going to attach to. So all these need to do is really screw into the water pump. So I'm going to 
do that now. I'm going to test one in here first, see if I can get it to the right height. Oh, it goes in pretty easily. But you can see it's really easy to put it further down than what you need to. So that's where the measurement comes in handy. And these go in really quite well. I don't know if you guys have used this type of Loctite that's in a tube that's almost kind of like a glue stick, but it works really well and is not very messy at all. So let's get one of these studs lined up to the right height. I'm going to put the Loctite on the thin thread here. So with this, you just turn it up like that and then stick this on. I'm trying to hit the area of the stud that I know is going to stay in the water pump area. Okay, let's try and get this one in to the right height. So from top to bottom, the best uh, guesstimate I can get is top to bottom with a bit of a lean in. It is six and seven eighths. So we'll test it on the other one. That is exactly the same, six and seven eighths. On to the next stud. Perfect. So I'm just going to clean this up quickly. All right. Studs are in. I'm just going to check for level. So the water pump is level. Now I can check the studs to be level. Let's see. Ooh. That's not level. All right, that definitely looks good. Now I'm going to rotate it around, try the other studs. Like that. Hmm. Looks good.
that's all good now I'm going to move on to putting some acetone on this metal casting and I want to clean this because I'm thinking about painting it so I'm going to do that right now okay let's get this cleaned up a little bit so I'm going to use some acetone that's generally what they're going to recommend to get grease and finishing off Sometimes you can also use a lacquer thinner as well, but acetone is fine. And I'm gonna try that on this and just wipe it down. Now I haven't decided 100% if I am going to paint this or not, but I think I'm going to. I don't see it getting too much cleaner than this. It's just to take off any grease or any other oil that may have contaminated the surface. Um, I will be priming this as well. All right, this is ready for priming and I'm gonna get set up to do that. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video on the water pump removal and refresh. I still have a little bit more to go. I'm waiting on some parts and some gaskets and I'll put that in part two of the video. Also, you may have noticed that the timing chain cover really doesn't look so good so i'm getting a new one of those and some new gaskets and i'm going to replace that as well so that will be coming up that's on order just waiting for it to arrive in the mail and i will do that so thanks very much for sticking around watching this video it's greatly appreciated if you liked it hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber that really helps out a lot so Thanks again, and we'll see you all in the next one, which is coming up very, very soon.